Hi guys, this is Pertaining to Rose. And yes, everybody's doing the same thing right now, so I thought I'd give it a try too. Actually started a couple months back ago. So I started doing that $5 challenge. I changed it to anything challenge. You know, putting my dimes, pennies, and nickels in a little little jar and keeping it hidden and just throwing my change in there. Well, I use my my debit card every chance I get. I don't hardly ever have cash. But I thought I'm going to do this anyway. So here you go. I put a mason jar inside of a Kleenex box. That way I can't see what's in there. You don't want to see what's in there. Let me tell you, this really helps. So I decided to kind of like see what I can. $5 challenge. I rarely ever have five. So I did the anything challenge. So my quarters go in here along with my cash. I have a bunch of it. About two months worth. I've been throwing it in there. And of course you can hear all the quarters. I'm not going to count all that today. But I did kind of like want to see where I was at. I got some tens and some twenties and some fives in here. Oh my. I think I got quite a bit in here. I got lots of ones. And I'm going to do a quick count up for you to see how fast this adds up. So you're supposed to save your fives for a year. And preferably in a shoebox that's duct taped shut with just a little slip cut into the top of it. Where you just keep adding your money. That way you can't see what's in there. And then you pull it out at the end of that year. Make sure you mark your dates on there. And count all the money you have saved. You could do a trip with this. So I've watched a few videos on this and I was shocked. One guy saved $8,000 in a year just saving his fives. That's just fives. Oh my goodness. Why aren't we all doing this? So here you go. I've been doing this for about two months now and I really got into it. So I started collecting all my change and all my, my dollar bills and all my fives and my tens. I think I only have 120 in here. I'm not quite sure. But we'll, we'll do a quick count up and see where this has led me. So let's kind of get it all situated out here. Get all my 10s in one place. All my 5s in one place. And my 1s. So every now and then I do peek. I try not to because when I peek, then I want to spend. We don't want to do that. We just want to keep hiding our money and seeing where it gets us. So this could be great for paying off your taxes. This could be for putting that down payment on that very much needed car. This could be for that vacation that you promised your kids that you were never able to take. Believe me, I've been there. Done it, been there. So I only got 120 in my thing. So here we go. 20. 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Yay, I'm over 100 for about two months worth of saving. That's pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 119 dollars. Just for throwing my cash in a jar and not looking at it. Make sure you hide it well. We don't need people coming in and looking for our money too. But here's out to you, God. A shout out to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Love you. And I hope you all have a good day. And I hope you do much better than me. Let's keep it all going, guys. I want to see what you did with your life. 